not saying most rational people don't drop from ceilings, especially inside a jail. And Jessica Lager had no need to escape. She had just been released when she locked herself in the lobby bathroom. According to her arrest affidavit, she yelled deputies had released someone ahead of her that had threatened her life. I asked her who had threatened her life, and she said that I should know. Once deputies got the bathroom door open, they could hear Lager somewhere in the ceiling, so most of them ran upstairs. Missing the moment, Lager lowers herself back into the inmate services lobby, where she's chased and arrested by the one deputy who stayed behind. Well, it breaks my heart for a couple reasons. Andrew Romanoff is the CEO of Mental Health Colorado. There are too many people in Colorado with mental illness who aren't getting the care they need. Uh, turning our jails and prisons into warehouses for folks with mental illness is the most expensive and least therapeutic decision we could make. While Lega was in the bathroom, deputies heard her yell she had booby-trapped the door, demanding they call her uncle and father, and then heard her say she was having a psychotic episode before she crawled into the ceiling only to drop out 20 feet away. She was charged with criminal mischief for causing $400 in damage, but it's possible a judge will send her to treatment rather than jail. You shouldn't have to get charged. You shouldn't have to be incarcerated uh, in order to get care.